All right, for those of you playing along, hey, so also, by the way, 521 is back there if you want to grab it. But that's also going to be Tuesday's homework. But we have a three-day weekend coming up. If you don't have a lot to do this weekend, take 521 and do as much of it as you can. You'll get a head start into next week. Right, so 521 is back there in the bin. You want to start this quarter as strong as you possibly can. So hopefully some of you are going to take the opportunity to come in and work uh, tomorrow morning. Mr. Estes is offering up that work session 8 to 11. So hopefully some of you are doing that just to, like get this quarter starting really strong. Because you don't want to start this quarter in a hole because it will probably only get big. Charlie? Oh, yeah, we got to fix you guys. Uh, so we need to check homework first. Let me steal your computer and fix you guys. This is 512. This is 512. If you have it done, you are welcome to turn it in today, but it's not technically due till next week. I took it off of this week because we slowed down and didn't move as fast as I thought. Um, you got to pay attention to are we talking about the, the one color versus the other color, or are we talking about color versus total? And for percent, we'd have to be talking about color versus the total. And guys, remember, this is being recorded. So if you need to go back and watch this again at a different time, you can, but please make sure that it's making sense to you and you don't just go back and use that video to like copy things because that doesn't benefit you at all. Questions on 18. All right, moving on to 19. Guys, the 10% checkpoint Sorry, do we need more? To There's chairs back by the uh, fridge if you need. The 10% checkpoint is always useful. So if you start at 90%, you can work your way back to 10%. Now, I know some of you probably went straight to 100%, and that's fine. But I think it's easier if we drop it down to 10% first and then build it up to 100%. Any questions there? Sorry, I'm trying to fix Desmos. Oh, well, my smart board's broken today. So, yep, that would not work. Okay, well, never mind. All right, Randy's diagram. Now, funny enough, Randy was just the name from the book, but Randy is also my friend uh, who is an architect. So I always kind of, every year I laugh at this question, like, yeah, they must know that Randy is a name you know, good for somebody who works on like dimensions. Dimensions are like the length and width, right? And that's why I typed that in here for you guys. Dimensions, and a lot of times we actually use the X. I know I've been trying to tell you guys like we stop using the X, but I'll tell you when we're talking dimensions, if I go to Home Depot to try to buy a four by eight sheet of plywood, but I want to look it up online first, I'm going to type in four X eight. Like when we're talking dimensions, so another way that you could write this yeah, it's my other part of my smart board that's broken. I can still do this. Is you could do this. 15 feet by 10 feet. And yes, a lot of times what we are then going to do with the dimensions is multiply. I know X is what we used to use for multiplying. This means by, right? Like when we're talking how big something is. But then if we're going to find the area of that space, and I kind of color coded, right? My bathroom's purple, my kitchen's green, my living room's orange. I got my three rooms, find their areas, add them up. Any questions? Guys, I have a feeling that a lot of us don't have this done, which good thing you have a three-day weekend. Good thing you have a three-day weekend to get this caught up. Common denominators, right? A is a little bit easier because five can go to 10. B is a bit trickier because eight and three got to meet up at 24. And 22 is probably the hardest problem on this homework because this is not a nice number. Did anyone actually do this yet? Like, it's, it's, I get it. It's not due this week. Amari, did you do this division of 5 divided by 3? Um, What'd you know. get? Uh, Somebody grab a calculator at your desk like anybody. Grab a calculator. I don't know how to say it. It's on a desk. Okay, because it's a weird number. Five do 5 by divided by 3. three. It's 1.66666. The 7 is a lie. Your calculator's lying to you. Why would you do this to me? Guys, when we're doing...
three scale factor. I hope you like are half paying attention, especially if you haven't done this yet. We're going from A to B. From A to B is getting bigger. We know that to get bigger, we can't multiply by like 0.5 or 0.2. That gets smaller. We're going to multiply by something bigger than 1. Well, how do we figure out the scale factor? If you go check your math notes, it's the new compared to the old, like what we came from. So it's 50 compared to 30. Oh, really, that's 5 compared to 3. So we can chop those zeros out. So to go the other direction, when they ask us to go this way, and sorry if you're watching the video, I, my ink is not going to show up in the video. If we're going this way, we're getting smaller. So you could either divide by 5 thirds, or you can actually flip over your scale factor and still multiply. So that's why I multiplied by 3 fifths. Because if we're going the other direction, you can just flip that scale factor over. Also, why the fraction 10? Because you put this in your calculator, it's a, it's a gross number that actually lies to you. That last seven's not true. We especially should not be copying this, as I see some people now. If you're on YouTube, I, I can't control what you do at home, but we are not copying this during my class. All right, let's get into Desmos. Uh, because Miss Howard needs to be in my room so they can teach together. No, dueling discounts. We're doing dueling discounts. Uh, bring your computer up here. I might need to fix yours also. Anyone know what this song is? Thank you. This is a famous bluegrass song called Dueling Banjos. Dueling discounts that we're doing. Oh. You have space to type these ideas into the activity to share with everyone. But don't give everyone your answer. Mm, Jesse, we getting logged into the Desmos? You can go ahead and start. Uh, it's giving you a hard time. Oh, uh, my loaner's already loaned out. You think it's your computer or you think it's Desmos? It's the login to Oh, Desmos? All right, this song's getting a little busy now. Now, I'm holding out hope that somebody might know this song.
I am not telling you to go back and change any answers. That is not why I'm showing you this. But this is really interesting. We have a big disagreement here. So you have two coupons that are your option of what you want to use. What are your two coupons? $20 or 20%. So I got my reminder over here. So check out that whiteboard, and I'm going to take that picture and upload that to YouTube so you can, you know, access, or not YouTube, upload it to our Schoology so you can access that this weekend also. If we were talking about a PlayStation, right, a new PS5. Hey, guys, don't make me pause the activity. Can you look up here real quick for a second? According to Google this morning, a PS5 is 430 bucks. I think the base, like not one of the special Marvel ones or whatever. So let's think about $20 versus 20%. With the PlayStation. If a hundred percent is four hundred thirty dollars, how can we get the ten percent? We did this a lot yesterday, so I hope you remember. Divide, divide, divide by, by ten. 10. Right? And then once we have ten percent, we can figure out pretty much anything. Because guys, from ten percent, you can go to five percent. Just cut it in half again. Or not again, but cut it in half, right? Now forty-three is a little weird to cut in half, but twenty-one point five. If you want to get your 20%, double it, right? Double both. If you want to get 1%, then maybe you're trying to figure out like 23% or, or 18% or something awkward. Any other percent you want, just figure out what math needs done. So for my PlayStation, which is better, a $20 off or 20% off? Which would you rather save, 20 bucks or $86? $86. Come on. So that's what you're thinking about here, but why, why do we have a big debate on the blender? What, what, like Caleb? How, what does, on this slide, did anyone tell you what the blender cost? Well, like it's kind of obvious what the blender costs. What? My blender that I have at home that I did not choose to purchase, but I make a smoothie with it every single morning, the Ninja Blender. I'm thinking that thing was like 120, 130, so like, Sally? Uh, blenders cost to vary a lot more than some other items. The fidget spinner, like it's usually like, like the, uh, like at oh. most 10, but that's like for a really, really So you're saying my thing. spinner is probably cheaper than my blender? Yeah, yeah. and then like, more, okay. like, like a more, like, oh, it's a fidget spinner, I know it's pricey. Sorry, like I didn't blender. bring my blender in. I Googled it, <laughs> a blender can have the price of either like, the average is 40 to 150, ah. so of course it's going to you're looking up prices back there, aren't you? I'm using the, so, the image version. Yeah, I, I spotted on Sally's computer. They were like looking up the price of stuff. And I'm like, all right, you can do that. Or if you just keep working through the activity, it'll eventually tell you the prices. So I'm not telling you to switch your answers. But once they tell you the prices, that might encourage you to make a different response. So go ahead and keep working. Go ahead and keep working. It's okay that we disagreed here. But yeah, like Sally said, blenders can vary a lot. Um, I wonder if you need to go take it down to the library end. Because she's in charge of like school handbooks. And she has one that she could give you right now and send yours to the next. Since you can't really get into the Desmos right now, do you want to head down to the library see if she's free? That's probably the best idea right now. Whoa! A group of seventh graders all agreed. Um, try like thirty thousand dollars. Oh yeah, you're right. Actually, it's five thousand eight hundred and sixty-three dollars. Those are expensive. No, very awful. Oh, you mean off? I thought you meant like for a car. So you all agree that the car, we should do twenty percent off. And Liam then shout out, it's because it's like thousands of dollars. Yeah, it's thousands of dollars, guys. If we use the PlayStation as a reference point, 
if something costs more than the PlayStation is going to cost, I think we're going to pick 20%. Yeah. Because 20% is going to be based off the price. $20 is just $20 it's is just $20. Okay. That doesn't change. Eli? We can also do the bigger the price gets, the more the revenue value of that. Yeah, the bigger the, the like thing we're purchasing, the less that $20 actually matters, right? Like, I mean, if you think about, like, hey, um, Elon Musk, can I have 20 bucks? He wouldn't care, right? But if you ask me, can I have 20 bucks? You'd be like, I don't even have $20 in my wallet. Sorry. Like, so we talked yesterday about there's percent off and there's also percent on. So you could, on the flip side, calculate the percent on price because if it's twenty percent off, what's your percent on? Yeah. So you could do the eighty percent. So like over here. If I want to say, what am I going to pay for my PlayStation? Okay, if I take my 10%, but then I want to turn it into 80%, actually, I don't need it. How do I go from 10% to 80%? Multiply by 8. Um, that's really, t can somebody do 43 times 8 for me? It's Friday. 344. So yeah, then that's what I'm left paying for my PlayStation. I got forty-three dollars. Sorry, I got eighty-six dollars off, and that led me to I pay three hundred forty-four. Yeah. We'll we'll get up to there. Now wait, we disagree again. Now, wait, it doesn't matter, guys. You got to be real careful in life saying it doesn't matter. Most of the time, choices matter. Sometimes it doesn't. But most of the time, so my spinner. Sorry that mine does not look as fancy as that one. Jagger, you had your hand up. You got thoughts to share? Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to say that it doesn't matter. Um, I'm actually, like, it's kind of like, really sure about something, but. What are you not sure about? Um, if it's $3 and you can put the coupon, wouldn't that, like, I don't, would you get a seven dollars coupon? So you use the coupon, and they probably just say, "Here, okay, this is free." They're not going to take money out of the cash I mean, register I mean, and give I mean, it to I mean, you. I mean, I probably buy it anyway. Well, but if you use the twenty dollars coupon, you don't even have to pay for it. It's just free. Yeah, okay, so I guess Jagger, are you arguing that you wouldn't use your twenty dollars one on this because you want to save it? That's, I get your argument, but that's not really what this is asking. It's saying if this was the only thing you were going to buy, and you had two coupons, which one would you use? Oh. Yeah, so if it's the only thing you're going to buy. I like your thinking. I'm like, well, what if I say the... I still can't do Okay, fine. It's, consumers make choices. Sometimes they're interesting. Benjamin? I'm the other person who said it doesn't matter. Okay. And... Like, even if it's the only thing I'm buying, I can still use those other coupons on other stuff. So you're just saying, this is so cheap, you don't even really care about a coupon. Yeah. Okay, well then let's talk about a TV. <laughs> 20%. Okay, so instead of my spinner, now we're buying a flat screen TV. 20% versus 20 up. Guys, what do you guess a flat screen TV? I have no idea. I see that. Okay, a couple people said $3,000. I see that. Right. Okay, so so Claire's making the good argument of yeah, there's a big range on price of TVs, but are any TVs like super cheap? Like one that looks like this, like an ultra HD, like no. there's probably at least a few hundred, right? Like probably at, at a minimum, even if it's not that big of a TV. So guys, I really feel like here this is one of those more expensive items. Like, which do you think is more expensive, a TV or a PlayStation? TV. Probably the TV. And we already said on the PlayStation, we want to use percent because it saved us more money. So I think here on the TV, we probably would also likely want to use the percent coupon. Yeah. All right, go ahead and keep working. I'm going to try to be quiet for a couple minutes. Here, I'll, I'll turn on music to try to be quiet.
Oh, here's a really good money song too. I'm checking whether like it's worked there yet. Which is okay. I'm trying to get on the first piece that way you can make the price. Especially when you get first one. Just checking that you actually like. I'm still kind of stuck on this. When could it be Caleb, are you so frustrated about slide 15? Yes. Okay. So, for sake of time. So, eventually, we start seeing the costs. And now, a lot of us have agreed $20 off, 35 would take fit or take the price down to fifteen. No, not actually have one. Twenty percent of thirty-five is seven dollars. Ooh, ooh, good math here. Y'all are so impressive. Twenty percent would only save you seven dollars on the blender, and that's not that great. Now it's fifteen. Now it's fifteen. See, so yeah, guys, I think we pretty much agree. And guys, it's okay if you marked twenty percent. And you realize, oh crap, I was wrong. We're learning. We're still in the process of learning. It's okay to make mistakes. But the better financial decision here would be save the $20. The car, yeah, is like $30,000. Now, I hope that this was a misclick. Like some of you work too fast. You don't actually think about what you're doing. You just try to get done with stuff. This price tag on this car, $29,135. Cynthia Brazil, you just brought this price down by $20, and you're now paying $29,115. That's a good deal. That's a great deal. Guys, 
What would 10% be here? We said, we said yesterday 10% literally just like shifts the decimal. 10% is 2,913. That's only 10%. Which would you rather say? Double that for 20 bucks? Yeah. What are you, Cynthia? No, no. I'm I was about to say, are you just messing with me? <laughs> for the blender, because it was cheap, the twenty dollars is better because the blender was cheap. So if we go back to the blender, I doubt this no, it's still not working. If we go back to the blender, remember ten percent we shift the decimal. So if we shift the decimal, because that's what happens when we divide by 10, what's 10% 10 here? $3.50. Three yeah, $3.50, right? $3.50. And then 20% would only be $7, right? So if we kind of follow the process like over here. So what is 20% of 10? 20% is 7 dollars Okay, so we do the math. Okay, so we're going to do the math. Okay, so we're going to do the math. Okay, so we're going to do the math. Okay, Yeah, even though this spinner looked real fancy. Now, okay, now that I've heard your arguments about it, it doesn't matter, because, yeah, I, I hear you. So maybe this is just a bad question. But that TV, and we all agree. We're getting it, guys. We're starting to get it. Feeling good. We're getting it. You got a lot of money off. As previously stated, I love you guys. You're funny. 20% would make it much cheaper. Better to say 500. Yeah, we can approximate things, right? We got some people rounding just to kind of talk about, yeah, 500 way better than 20. And then we got some exact math. 20% off would be $549.40. Nice work. Um, Twang Zon Sin. I'm real bad. I should probably learn how to pronounce these famous mathematicians. The TV is too small. That is not what we're discussing, friends. <laughs> So now, and guys, some of you, and I was walking around talking with people, some of you were like, Chromebooks are cheap. Well, okay, so yes, some Chromebooks are cheap, but this is 189 so then you guys all agreed that 20% off. Is there, and then, we, then we're getting out of here, is there a price of something that literally makes the coupon choice not matter? Jagger? Yeah, 20% of $100 would be $20, and then they would be tied. All right, have a great weekend, guys. Stay warm. If there's school on Tuesday, please dress warm. Please.